Throughout the Cold War, the Soviet KGB began employing the use of paranormal tools and warfare to counter their enemy strategies. But to the surprise of some, interest in this field dates back to the man who banned the practice of the paranormal and persecuted those who practiced it, Joseph Stalin. Join us as Paranormal TV explores Stalin's interest and lets the truth be told on this incredible story of Wolf Messing. Located within former Soviet files on the paranormal is the dossier of Wolf Messing. Wolf Messing was a fabulous character. He started out in Germany. He then became known as probably the most famous psychic in Europe in the 20s, the 30s. There are a couple famous tests, and one kind of delicious one was he was tested by Einstein and Freud. In a historic meeting, Messing was invited to demonstrate his mental abilities. And as the story goes, they were in Einstein's apartment, and he said, okay, Dr. Freud, send me a telepathic message of what you want me to do. And he thought for a minute, and then he went into the bathroom, opened the cupboard, took out some tweezers, went back into the living room and said to Einstein, oh, excuse me, Herr Professor, and plucked a hair out of his mustache. And Freud said that was exactly what he had asked him to do. Messing became quite famous for his psychic abilities. He even went so far as to predict the outbreak of war between the Soviets and the Germans, despite Stalin's infamous non-aggression treaty with the Nazis. He also predicted the end of the war to the month and the death of Germany's Führer. In light of his reputation, people began to take his predictions more seriously especially the occult-obsessed Adolf Hitler, who put a 200,000 mark bounty on Messing's head. The world-renowned psychic was forced to flee to Russia, where Joseph Stalin himself became interested in the possible military application of Messing's abilities. But first, Stalin wanted to test Messing for himself. One night when uh, Messing was performing in a little border town, they came and took him to see someone. It turned out to be Stalin. And Stalin gave him two tasks to do. And one was to, write, to rob a bank by psychic means. Of course, Messing had no account at the bank. His challenge was to withdraw the money using only his psychic powers of influence over the teller's mind. Messing handed him a blank sheet of paper and then mentally willed the teller to withdraw 100,000 rubles. 